Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day and another Vlogmas video is here. So today's video is all about all of the incredible fragrances that I have discovered this year. They're not all new launches. They, some of them are really old, but I just discovered them this year. I have a ton of fragrances in front of me, so I'm not gonna spend too much time talking about each one, or this video will probably be two hours long, but I wanted to share some of the ones that just made the most impact on me this year. Now, I try a lot of fragrances out, I really do, so, this is a big deal. If these are the ones that stand out for me, it's definitely a hit in my books. There are some niche fragrances and some designer fragrances, so we're just gonna go through them and no particular order whatsoever. So I hope you guys enjoy this video, and if you're new, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel. My name is Karina Waldron, and we do a lot of fragrance and beauty related content here on the channel, occasional vlogs, and uh, I'm doing Vlogmas, so videos every single day till the 24th, so subscribe if you haven't, and give this video a big thumbs up as it helps my channel so, so much. Just that thumbs up, okay? Turn post notifications on. I know, I know, I'm done, I'm done. Okay, let's get into these fragrances. So I'm gonna start off with BDK from, no, Passissoir from BDK. So this fragrance here, did I get introduced to it this year or last year? I feel like it was this year. Hopefully I'm not wrong. This is absolutely stunning. I mean, this right here is the safest blind buy that I could ever recommend. I see most people really loving this scent. It is feminine to me, 100%. This, oh, how can I smell this? How can I explain it? Oh my God. Every time I smell it, it really puts a smile on my face. It's a little sweet. It's a little fruity. This has like this tone to it that smells like a celebration. I always describe this scent as champagne. Like it smells like a sh sweet champagne. Not, not too boozy, but like a sweet champagne. I love it so much. Even though it's not overly complex, I find that it is unique and beautiful. Next up, we have one that I wore so much, and that is Terra di Joy from Giorgio Armani. And here is that bottle. This is actually a 2021 release, if I'm not mistaken. And look at the dent that I've put on it. Like, I wore this almost every day. As soon as I wake up or after I take a shower, I put this on. It's it's very casual and easy to wear. Like you don't have to think about it too much. And it's one of those uh, um, fragrances that is mood uplifting. Like it just makes me smile and happy and it is beautiful. Like mm, it, honey, it has this like honey-esque vibe. It's warm, kind of sort of ambery and it's just a beautiful warm sunshine in a bottle. That's how I would describe this scent. Now, this one is newer to my collection and that is Tab Tobacolor from Christian Dior. I actually just added this maybe a week and a half ago and I have fallen in love with this scent. It's very potent, okay? So tread lightly with this one. It's very potent, quite sweet, so it can be a bit heady, so don't go crazy with the sprays with this one. It's warm, it's spicy, it's sweet. Definitely a tobacco forward fragrance. Like, think of like a very sweet wet tobacco. Oh my God, this is so strong. And in my review, I did a complete review. I will link it down below. I don't think I emphasize how strong this is, but now that I've had it for a while, this is a very heavy fragrance, very heavy fragrance, perfect for cold months. I don't know how it would work out for the hotter months. I think it might be a little too overwhelming in my opinion, but it is absolutely stunning. If you like a bold, deep scent, uh, a lot of tobacco in there, don't be afraid. It's not too masculine, I don't find. It is a little smoky for sure, but it's a unique scent. If you like Marizon Margiela by The Fireplace, I think you would absolutely love this one. If you like Jazz Club, you would probably like this one. The next fragrance I've talked about so many times and I still stand by it. It's one of my favorite discoveries, a even the brand. Like I'm so glad that I have discovered the brand and that is Gersoff. This is their Casa Morati collection and this is Lyra. I 
love Lyra so much. Uh, well, I should say the Casa Morati line is beautiful. I think that the entire range is gorgeous. There's something for everyone, but Lyra is just, um, just the best gourmand because it's not doing the most. It's enough sweetness, enough citrusy tone. It's not, it's enough brightness, enough spiciness. It's enough of everything that I want in a gourmand scent. And this just smells like a, oh my God. There's a citrus tone in there, lots of vanilla, delicious, delicious, delicious. I love this one, especially if you enjoy your gourmands. This is definitely one to try out. This is the 100 ml, I believe, or the, you know, the biggest bottle, but they do have a 30 ml that is a little bit more uh, affordable when it comes to the price point. I will link it down below. You can get this off of Twisted Lily and most of my niche fragrances you can get on T Twisted Lily. Use my code Karina10 to get 10% off your niche fragrances. So take advantage of that code because it might be ending at the end of December, just saying. But Lyra is absolutely gorgeous. Next fragrance, I honestly haven't heard much people talk about it. I don't even think I've ever heard a review. Maybe I just didn't go looking for it. But this is from Juliet Has A Gun and it is not a perfume, super dose. Another very new to my collection scent. And I am so shocked that this doesn't have more hype behind it because it is so beautiful, unique, and very much so molds to your personality. Me, this is just a beautiful scent that doesn't smell like a traditional perfume. Like it doesn't smell floral. It doesn't smell woody. It just smells really elevated and elegant. Like it smells like a very expensive niche fragrance. Oh. We have a designer fragrance, and this is from Marc Jacobs. It is Daisy Oso oh Intense. Love that I discovered this fragrance. It's a beautiful scent. Always makes me smile. Like this will lift up my mood instantly. It smells so like happy, sunshine, honey-esque, bright, sweet. It's very fruity. I know that there is like strawberry and pear in here. I think there is vanilla in here. There's also some uh, floral tones. I could be wrong, but I think it's jasmine in here and maybe rose, maybe, but it's just a really beautiful, bright scent. And I think it's for, because of those juicy, um, flu fruity tones in the opening, like the strawberry and the pear combined together just created something so stunning but there's also like a green earthy like tone to it I think it's moss that's in here in the base or in the middle but it is just gorgeous like trust me if you have not tried this one yet please do yourself a favor I think you would absolutely love it I get so many compliments with this scent it's unbelievable next up we have Pent Halligans Impressa. This is another very new fragrance to my collection. I purchased this maybe like a week ago at Saks Fifth. I got them uh, at the same time. So these two here, I bought them at the same time. So they're fairly new. <sighs> another extremely underrated fragrance. I think I need to do a video on all of the underrated fragrances in my collection because this one Wow. Okay. I haven't seen a review on this one. It is so beautiful. It kind of gives me the vibe of Passy Soir from BDK, how it's just very likable. You enjoy it. It's not extraordinary, but there's something special about it. It's very beautiful. It's very feminine, classy, and slightly mood uplifting. It's very pretty. Oh my God. It's a sweet, floral, slightly gourmandish fragrance. It doesn't smell like an edible gourmand, but there are elements in here that just make your mouth water. It kind of reminds me of like sugar water. Like if you would take a glass of water and put some sugar and swirl it around, that's what I get from this fragrance. Mm. Another new, I have a lot of new that I discovered this year that I'm just loving at the end of the year, actually. This is Iris Malikan from Maison Crivelli. And this over here, wow. I heard this from two particular people, or three actually, which is Angel, Sebastian, and Demi Rollins. And I just knew I had to get my hands on this one. Oh my God. 
God, another extreme heavy hitter for me. Like this is very heavy. Um, not in terms of the scent, but the quality. You don't need to overspray this. It's going to be loud. It's going to project. It's going to last. You don't really need to overspray it. The scent, when you look at the note breakdown, it really doesn't represent what I'm smelling here at all. This smells to me like a very light gourmand. Like I definitely get chocolate vibes in this fragrance, even though there is no chocolate note in here, but I get a chocolatey tone, slightly floral, a little powdery. It's just very refined. If you like French perfumery, very fine, very elegant, very sophisticated, the highest quality when it comes to the concentration. This is definitely a brand you want to check out. I am so impressed with this scent. I literally have to go very light-handed with this one because it's so strong that it will give me a headache if I go overboard. So the dent on this bottle is gonna take a while because I literally do two sprays and I am good to go. Very unique. Um, it is, to me, quite complex in a way, so tread lightly if you are new to the niche world or stepping out of like your usual floral fragrances. Let's talk about Mr. Tom Ford. I love Tom Ford and I've tried quite a few fragrances this year. There have been some misses, I'm not gonna lie, but Santal Blush is definitely my favorite for this year. I discovered it a couple of months back and I just love this one so much. <sighs> creamy 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 clean fresh it almost is it sandalwood that's in here that's what i get from this one it's a woody musky clean fresh scent slightly sweet in the background but not like sugary sweet but there's something sweet about it it's very likable very attractive and very crowd pleasing like you you this is like a safe blind buy for me definitely a safe blind buy. It's just beautiful. Like there's not a lot to say about it. I just feel really elegant and well put together when I wear this one. And it's just easy to wear. You can wear it casual, but you can also wear it dressed up. And it's one of those scents that would make a really perfect signature scent. You can overspray this one. It's not heavy at all. It's not super projecting, so you can overspray it. And the bottle to me is just so gorgeous. I love Love this Tom Ford bottle so much. Next fragrance that I discovered is from Byredo. I have been on a Byredo kick, okay? My collection has definitely grown, but out of all of the ones that I've tried out, this has to be my favorite right now, and it is Rose of No Man's Land. I would never have looked at this fragrance. I had never seen any reviews, anyone talking about it, but my lovely sales associate at Saks Fifth Avenue recommended I try it, and I have just been in love. It's so pretty. I've already put a little bit of a dent on this one. I definitely go ham with the sprays with this fragrance. This is a smaller bottle and this is... <sighs> to me it smells like a bouquet of flowers very fresh, but then there's spiciness, there's muskiness, there's a woody tone in the dry down. It's like a floral scent that is a little bit more elevated. There's a little bit more character to it. So if you love your floral fragrances, definitely try this one out because there's a bit more oomph to this one and it smells very lavish and elegant. Like this as a signature scent, a lot of them, but this as a signature scent is stunning. Absolutely stunning. Fragrance Dubois, another house that I am so pleased to have discovered this year. They make high quality fragrances from the packaging to the scents. They are just so gorgeous and so likable. Um, what I like with Fragrance Dubois, they have a little bit of something for everyone. There are very intense fragrances and then there are ones that are very easy going. This one is Milano and this was my first Fragrance Dubois scent, was it? No, the first one that I tried was the one in collaboration with Demi Rollins. I only had a sample, and then this is the full-size bottle that I picked up, Milano. And this one is gorgeous, very unique. <sighs> very unique. This is a perfect combination of like taking 
fragrance notes that are going to create a feminine fragrance and then taking fragrance notes that are going to create something a little bit more masculine and combining them together and just having the best of both worlds it's so elegant it smells like a runway show like the milano they really captivated this one because it smells very elegant very like lavish very designer handbag type of style of fragrance okay like you are really living the life you're going on vacation to Paris. You got your designer handbag, maybe a Louis Vuitton on you, leather jacket. You got little booties on, nice red lipstick, minimal makeup. This is what I get from this fragrance over here. It's gorgeous. Like there is a smokiness to this scent that might scare some people away, but let it dry down. The smokiness definitely still remains, but I find it adds a lot of character to this fragrance. It's super juicy and wearable and just, oh, it's so elegant. Like it's very, very lavish and I just love Milano so much. This is definitely one that I prefer during the hotter days, but I can see myself pulling this off in the winter too. I have Killian. Of course, I had to mention Killian because my collection from Killian has grown so much this year. Um, this is Rolling in Love. I'm so glad I discovered this one. It's stunning. Last year I discovered, um, what was the last year's Killian? Hmm. What is it called? Angel share. Angel share is what I discovered last year. This year I've discovered a bunch, but rolling in love has been my love when it comes to Killian fragrances. I think it's just a beautiful almondy creamy scent. It's very feminine, very likable. There's a bit of sweetness in there without it being cloying. It's elegant yet sexy. It's just beautiful, deep, warm, spicy. Love this one. Mmm super creamy and that is it for my discoveries i didn't want to bombard you with a million fragrances but i definitely wanted to talk about the ones that stood out the most to me and i don't think i'm going to get any new scents by the end of this month well maybe but <laughs> I'm talking about them now. If I do get new scents, I will talk about them next year. But yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed it and saw something new and cool today. Definitely let me know in the comment section what has been your favorite fragrance discovery of 2021. Of course, give this video a thumbs up as it helps my channel a lot. Subscribe if you haven't already. Turn your post notifications on and feel free to follow me on Instagram and TikTok. And I will see you guys on the next video. Ciao!